days in my life, a week in my life, whatever you want to call it. We're starting on a Tuesday because yesterday I was lazy and didn't do anything. <laughs> my mom's waiting for me at the juicery, but this is what I'm wearing today or right now at least. You know, I change every five seconds. Dress is from Meshki. I'll link it down below. It's just so easy if I want to look put together, but I don't feel like putting together an outfit. Bag, JW Pay. I literally got it on Amazon. Air Force Ones. We are headed to we meet with my mom to get a ginger shot and juice or something just it's been a really rainy lazy morning and i have stuff to do and sometimes if i just like go and do one thing it kind of gets me started for the day i'm just being really lazy and snuggling with finn bear if you guys saw my last vlog clip i was on the phone with my real estate agent she's amazing i love mackenzie and we were going through my lease for my apartment that i got approved for 50 pages long and i had to sign two copies of it so we were going through the whole lease this morning and I have to wait to sign two of the things because I have to get them notarized. So I have to go and have a witness as I sign them and I have to get like certified bank checks um, to send and then we'll be squared away from my apartment. We'll have to get like renter's insurance and a couple other things, but we're getting closer and closer. Just have to do some big girl things. Let's get started with the day. Welcome back. Subscribe if you're new here. My last few weeks at home. Finley's gonna come with. I just couldn't leave him at home and they always let us bring him, so let's go. Oh, hey there. What's up? Hi, baby boy. Just took a ginger shot and hung out at the bar for a little, the juice bar. <laughs> now we're headed to the bank, gonna get this lease notarized. I was told that my apartment building's super old fashioned. Even though it's a really nice modern building, they're really old fashioned in the way they like to do their leases, like paper still, everything. Some might say I like the color green. Picked up some lunch from Publix. We're gonna try this little moho pork dish. Hello guys, so it's a little bit later. I had some calls and then I had some like extensive documents I had to fill out for my move to New York and just other stuff for brands and all really great things. So I feel like I've just been on my computer for a majority of the day and it's weird. I don't know if anyone else is dealing with this, but I've been sitting on my bed, I've been sitting at my desk on my computer getting all these things done but I feel so unproductive. I feel so lazy. Um, I get like this when I'm at home sometimes, especially when it's rainy here in Florida, like if it's not sunny. I feel like guilty or weird, but at the same time, like I am getting the things that I need to get done, done. It's just all technology based, which is crazy. Um, and I can do it from the comfort of my home, own home. I feel like a lot of people might be dealing with this working from home. It's like, okay, I just did so much, but I feel so weird because I've just, been in my room all day. I just have a feeling I'm gonna be wanting to go to co-working spaces and coffee shops and working with friends more when I'm in New York because it's just kind of isolating in a way. Some days I love it, but today I'm just, I think the rain just makes me wanna be cozy in the sense of like, I just wanna lay in bed all day and watch Heather Banks. I don't know if it's because I had a busy weekend and I was traveling or what, but I'm just gonna give myself that grace. I'm still wearing my green dress. I'm like sitting in my bed. Um, I want to edit a video to go up tomorrow. I still need to unpack from Chicago. It's right there. I don't know, and, I, and I'm also like, oh, I'm, you know, moving. I think I'm moving on August 20th. That's the day my mom and I picked. She's going to fly up with me. And I'm like, oh, I want to do all these things before I leave. Oh, I want to hang out with my family. Um, but then here I am just sitting here, but I'm doing work. It's just, I don't know if this makes sense. I feel like these next few weeks I'm like waiting to move to New York and doing all these things to prepare, which is so needed, but also I wanna enjoy my last few weeks in Florida. And I think I'm just sad and my brother leaves for college on Sunday. So that'll be the first little like change. And usually around now I'd be going back to school. I'm not, but I'm moving to New York City, which is so high. But yeah, so that's why I haven't really vlogged much today. I haven't done anything. It's, it's like, okay guys, now I'm filling out this Google form. <laughs> like it's just, I don't, I don't think it's necessary, so. I need a little creative reset. I need to actually relax. And for me, that is going to get some pretzels and hummus and putting on a big t-shirt and getting like under my comforter 
and just like not talking to anyone for a little bit and watching Outer Banks. And then hopefully there'll be a pretty sunset and we're having like family dinner tonight. I didn't want to hide that from you guys and be like, okay, so now I'm working out, now I'm doing this. I just like haven't had that motivation lately. I've just been more in chill vibes and just trying to relax because I am extra anxious lately and um, I, my therapist has been on vacation, <laughs> but she is back and tomorrow we're having an appointment. So I think that'll be really helpful. There's just a lot, there's just a lot going on right now for me, for a lot of people. A transition as excited as I am to move to New York City, like holy crap, it's a big transition. And I'm so thankful that Ryan will eventually be there a couple weeks after me. And my friends, I have lots of friends, two of my best friends from high school just decided that they're gonna be moving to the city. There's some good things happening. Um, but I think this in-between time is a little bit harder for me than I thought. So, yeah, and I just need to get in the sun. I just wanted to have this little real chat with you guys because I, I was, I've been stressed all day. Oh my gosh, I haven't showed anything in the vlog. That's life, Danielle. You don't have to go to a coffee shop and then a spin class and then the beach and then hang out with three friends and then come home and do a haul. Like, you don't need to do that your vlogs all the time and I mean when I move to New York all the moving vlogs are gonna be so fun but in the meantime it's just me chilling and I hope you guys are still enjoying this all right bed is ready Outer Banks is queued up my eye heart and my shirt is on I just heated up a garlic knot <laughs> it's finally just unpacked my suitcase listening to Tori's podcast about how to take control of your morning anxiety. Got me motivated to get out of bed um, and unpack. But I also just got two new suitcases in the mail and I wanted to show you guys. They're from Calpac. I ordered them, they're on sale. They're from Jen Atkins collection with them. Um, and usually I like to get a colorful suitcase, but it, I just loved these black ones so much. I, I liked the texture of them and they just, they're so sleek. I thought they were perfect for New York. It's between this or gold. And I just, I love the black. I also got them because when I move up to New York, my mom and I are gonna go up and we're both gonna just bring some suitcases and then ship anything else up there. But most everything I'll be purchasing, honestly, and ordering. So these two suitcases are coming with and then she's gonna probably bring two suitcases. I don't even know. All right, so I paused her podcast because she was giving the really good advice. One of her tips was to kind of plan out her week, but in a very realistic way, because it might sound, oh, that's counteractive. You're getting stressed, you're looking at your plan. I'm very overwhelmed at all these things I need to do, people I, I need to see, just feelings I wanna feel, like all these things. And I feel like it's all just a cluster in my head and to be able to get it out onto paper and just setting realistic goals and realistic things I wanna get done, I think will be really helpful actually. So we're gonna go to my tried and true, doing well daily, we're gonna open it up. I haven't seen what today's quote is. This is the planner I designed with doing well daily. Back to school season, if you want a planner for back to school, I love this one so much. Not certain dates or months or anything, so you can use this as you need. It's just got a single day on each spread. So today's quote is growth is growth no matter how small. That's so applicable. Like, even if you just get one little thing done, that's amazing. So, I always have this linked down below, but I truly do love it. Editing, just made some sleepy time tea. We're about to go to bed. Um, once I'm done with this video, I'm gonna upload it so that it goes up tomorrow morning and then I can sleep well knowing my video. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. I got up, I showered and hung out with my family a little bit and now it's 10 a.m. we have therapy i am so excited for this appointment you guys she was on vacation and i missed her so i'm hopping on in like a minute late but yeah i think this will be a really good start to my day to just kind of get my thoughts out and i'll talk to you guys after So today has taken a turn. We are now at the beach. I'm thankful I live super close to the beach. My therapist was like, do you have anything you have to get done in the next few hours? Like, do you have to? And I said, no. There's things I wanted to do from between 11 and two, but there's not, there's not things I have to do. And she was like, you are so worried about filling up everyone else's cup, your viewers, your family, your friends, your everything which is a good thing, but you need to fill up your own cup. Like, you can't film a video if you're not feeling 100%. And I was like, you're right. So she was like, what would feel the best for you right now? And I just kept thinking about sitting by the ocean on the beach alone. So I literally backed my car up right to the beach 
and I'm gonna pop the trunk and sit there. I mean, like the waves are literally crashing right behind me. And I've been wanting to do this every day. I'm like, oh, I wanna go, but why don't I? It's so freaking close to me because I feel like I have to be doing other things. I feel like I have to be sitting there on my phone looking at the newest TikTok trends. Like, no, <laughs> the reason this is my job is because I love it and I enjoy it. <laughs> so I thought I'd share this with you guys because it's important to take time for yourself. I brought my AirPods and the trunk's not popping. Love that for me. Not too bad. This is pretty darn cool, huh? I'll be here for the next little bit. <laughs> Don't text. Well, that was seriously so healing. I was there for about an hour. I'm so happy I went. Stopped at Publix on the way back. That seems to be my new thing. Go to Publix and get lunch. Um, and I got some other things too. I got this pre-made moho pork meal again because it was so good for either lunch today or tomorrow. Or these popcorn chicken are really calling my name. If you know, you know. If you live in the South and you go to Publix. I thought it could be yummy to eat the popcorn chicken with this mashed cauliflower. I love mashed cauliflower. Got some hummus to dip pretzel chips or crisps in. Two more kombuchas, got some granola bars. Um, I've never tried Annie's granola bars though. And then I've been into magazines lately. I think it's because I've been traveling and looking at the magazines on the plane, I don't know. Nothing is as elite as Sky Mall though. Um, but this is some magazine. I think it's called the Mindfulness Magazine. And it was talking about your guide to a peaceful mind. I started reading a little bit of it in the grocery store and I just thought this would be a nice read, so. Here's my little haul. All right, it might not look so good, but it's about to be so tasty. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm on my last page of this Doing Well Daily. I'm just gonna open up a new one. <laughs> I love this thing. I trust the next chapter because I know the author. Ugh, that hits. My life is definitely in transition right now. I'm about to embark on a huge next chapter, but I know it's gonna be okay because I know the author, me. All right, I'm gonna fill this out. I got Finley right here with me, being perfect as ever. It's espresso time. Got some cowboy coffee here. <laughs> you like it? Got a snake in my boat. Oh baby, that is stunning. Just made a little latte and hopping on a Gals on the Go merch call. To see it. <laughs> Hi. Danielle, how's it going? Good. Hello, Munchkin. Hello. You wanna do my skincare routine with me? You need some skincare? Okay, you guys, so I just watched um, the end of episode seven in The Outer Banks, season two. It's getting so good. I had to stop myself. There was a cliffhanger at the end of episode seven. Um, and so I had to watch the first like 15 seconds of episode eight just to make sure everything was okay. Um, but we are getting ready, I'm just putting on some heat protectant, um, to go to dinner with my friends Mary, Stephen, and Morgan. I'm so excited because they are both moving to New York City, two of my best friends from high school, so we're gonna be reunited. Over college, we stayed super close, obviously, as a friend group, but the fact that two of them are gonna be moving to New York City um, at the same time as me is like, a dream come true and I never saw, I saw Mary Stephen definitely moving to New York, I could see that, but I never thought Morgan would be, neither did she. So it's just, and I'm, I'm just so excited, but anyways, they're moving on Friday, they're actually living together. So whenever I want to go uptown, I'll visit them, probably have sleepovers there, and then when we go out and stuff in the Lower East Side, they'll probably stay with me. I'm getting ready to go to dinner, I'm literally going to see them when I move there obviously, but they're like my last friends here, so the next few weeks I'm just going to be chilling at home. Um, I mentioned Proven Skincare last week in my last vlog and I had some people DM me asking more about it. It's a three-step regimen um, and you basically fill out a quiz um, answering all kinds of questions about your skin. So like, it's sensitivity, is it dry, is it oily, are you acne prone? And you put in your zip code and it literally shows that UV index in your area, the humidity in your area, and so it puts everything into play 
when creating the skincare regimen for you. So right now, I was just putting on my personalized day moisturizer with SPF. I really am trying to be good about putting on SPF. <laughs> So I'm just putting that on as a base before I do my makeup. I just love how simple it is. You just have a day cream, a night cream, and a cleanser. Just putting on my makeup now. The company's women owned and run. I actually saw them on Shark Tank a bit ago. So it was really cool to work with them because I've watched them on Shark Tank. I love that show. They're clean ingredients and they're cruelty free as well, which is always a plus. I just love the aesthetic of the products too. Very sleek, looks good on your bathroom counter. This is the night cream. I'll have a link down below for you guys if you want to check it out. I encourage you guys to do the quiz on their website because it's really interesting what questions they ask you. It gets you really intrigued and you feel like they definitely know a lot about your skin at the end of it um, and just see what they recommend. I do have a code, if you use code Danielle20, you get 20% off. So if you're wanting to try it, use the code, check it out. Um, but yeah, I think it's really simple, really easy. I've had a good experience with the products thus far. But yeah, I still don't know what I'm wearing tonight. I have some ideas. All right, guys, here's my outfit of the night. I really, really like it. I'll link it below for you guys. I think it's just a great little summer dinner fit. This gives me like just was outside all day, came and got ready for dinner after the beach vibe. Top is from Revolve. I love it. It's so stretchy and comfortable and flattering. I love how... It goes right under, just like that. Very cute. Pants are from Princess Polly. I love this trousers look. Bag is Bob Orr collection. Hair, Dyson Airwrap. <laughs> and then my shoes are from Shoots. Shoot, shoot. All right, here at the girls, sending them off to New York City. Ah, so exciting. About to eat. Morning, everybody. It's Thursday morning. Is it Thursday already? One of our listeners of Gals on the Go, if you guys listened to last week's episode when we went to Chicago, we talked about um, my heel and how I'm worried that I have like plantar fasciitis. And one of our listeners DM'd me and said it ha could have to do with your calves. So massage it, use a roller or use like a Theragun. And we actually have one because Freddie uses it. So I'm gonna use it on my calves. Whoa. It's a weird feeling. <laughs> I'm in a latte mood this morning. Love having espresso, but I also love having regular coffee. So I'm looking at machines that do both. <laughs> Get you a girl that can do both, but they're all so expensive. And I'm like, is that, like I, I could have two coffee machines, like an espresso and a Keurig or a coffee pot of some sort, but also, is that wasteful at the end? I don't know. Oh, we gotta froth some milk. We're doing the whole thing today. So please leave your comments down below of what coffee machine you use if you love it. I like how this one has milk frother too, just to note. <laughs> Ta -da. I wish I could do latte art. Oh, 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 okay. Hey, that's not not latte art. That's cool. So I'm feeling like Starting my morning watching some YouTube videos. I'm just chilling like a villain for the next two weeks. I don't need to pressure myself to get up and get after it and have these really full days. I do put the pressure on myself, but I'm trying not to because I'm home. I should just enjoy it. It's like summer break, right? I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, drink my coffee. I honestly love starting my day like this. And I have so many different lists on my notes on my phone and it like connects to iCloud so it goes on my computer too, which I love. So I'm currently making a New York City master packing list so I can kind of see everything that I want to bring. I want to bring as little as possible because I just collect things. Um, and I'd rather bring less than have more and have to send stuff back home or give it away, whatever. So I'm doing bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, living room, tech, random. Actually, I'm also going to do like fashion beauty. I'm just doing fashion. I don't really know what that means. I guess I'll count that as like bags and accessories because obviously I'm bringing clothes. So bathroom, I'm gonna write down, okay, your essential skincare products, Dyson Airwrap, flat iron, curling iron, blow dryer, boom. Makeup, you know, like stuff like that, or if I have any of my favorite shampoos with me right now, but I'll probably buy some of that up there. Kitchen, I have, these are things that I'll either be shipping or bringing with me, obviously, because we're gonna ship stuff too. I have two pans that I'm obsessed with, so I will be shipping those. Um, I might have a couple mugs that I really wanna have up there. 
bedroom. I don't really have much, but you know, I'm just gonna go through this. I cannot believe I'm looking at one-way flights to New York City right now. Impromptu trip to Costco. Freddie heads up to college on Sunday here, and we love going to Costco. It's a fun thing. I, unless I see something I'm obsessed with and need, I'd ship up, but I'm kind of just going for the ride because Costco excites me. Nice shirt. Go dogs. Freddie's getting ready for his junior year of college. So what do we do? We go to Costco. Yeah, a mini oh, is that what you're doing? Yeah. Brian had a mini fridge too. They do sell mattress toppers here. Perhaps. No, you don't topper Not the good. idea. Modern day appliances right here. This one offers cubed crushed or crack craft ice. So cool. And then look, it says knock. <laughs> that is so sick. Oh my gosh, appliances are getting like Apple technology. It's an iHome where you can charge your phone, but then it's also got like a little alarm clock. I guess we use our phones these days, but I think that's cute. Yeah, I need a light. Like oh, you little... can charge your phone on the light? You can charge your phone on anything now. Suitcases, <laughs> desk lamps. Oh yeah. So many fun back to school things. Here he is. They're sold out. Yeah. Here's Freddy's little haul. He's got some cashews, some batteries, M&M's, towel, side buds. My purchase of the day, this really soft, comfortable uh, Lightning Stanley Cup shirt. I love sleeping in shirts like this, and this is pretty memorable. My appointment's literally starting right now, but I'm about to go into European Wax Center and get my wax. You guys know I get a little nervous, so I'm gonna take a little ginger shot before I head in there. Woof. <laughs> Woo, that one's from Arden's Garden. That's pure ginger, pure spice. All right, let's go get waxed. Wax and vax, baby. Seriously, go get vaccinated. You guys, waxing just gets easier. Every time you go, if you stay consistent with it, it grows back thinner and thinner, and the appointments get shorter and shorter. Like, I was there for 15 minutes, not even. And now I'm gonna feel confident in a bathing suit and just whatever. I'm gonna enjoy my last two weeks at home. Um, now it looks like it's about to rain though. That's the thing, it's like been sunny in the morning and then by the time I get my act together, my bathing suit on, it's like cloudy. It's so cozy. I mean, I'm about to go back home probably and watch out her bangs because Brooke and I wanna have season two finish before we record tomorrow. So I, I have to finish it. Got everyone a juice. I got myself an all in, literally all greens and ginger. Got my dad one too. My mom wanted a cacao milk. And then I got a little vial of um, ginger shots because duh. So it's a cozy, rainy afternoon now. Finley's in the bag, so cute. I just got these blue eye glasses from Blender's Eyewear. I'm obsessed. They're like aviator style. I've always wanted a pair like these. I have some random things I need to get done on my computer. I need to sign up for something, so I register as like a New York resident, and so I have to pay New York taxes. I have to book my mom and I's New York flights. I was looking at them earlier, but I wanted to talk to her first. Um, I have to finish planning tomorrow's episode of Gals on the Go. We're doing like a back to school episode. Um, I need to pay my therapist, <laughs> and I need to buy a frame for my diploma. I want to get a frame, they have them from UGA, it says like University of Georgia, where you put your diploma and then you put your tassel next to it. I think that is the one I want to get, so I'm going to order that because I keep forgetting and my mom's like, I'm tired of looking at the scroll, I want to see it. I'm like, I don't think I've even, my parents have even seen the diploma yet because it's like in the tube. They write a thank you card. My neighbor gave me a belated little grad gift, which is really sweet. Alright, I just ate some lunch. I'm a little chilly, so I put on this little fleece button-up thing. I wanted to film and like do some of my content stuff, but it's like so cozy right now. I just had lunch and I got a full belly, and I think it just feels right to get over this midday slump by watching Outer Banks. I'm just in the mood. Like I don't want to force watching it later like if i'm in the mood now you know when i'm about to watch tv i take this pillow i put it right up there so it's like my little headrest and i sit right here i'm on i'm like in the middle of episode eight i think for outer banks i don't know if i'm gonna finish it all in one sitting but at least an episode finley's here cuddled up with me he wanted to come watch oh my gosh i totally just finished outer banks i thought i was on episode nine the whole time 
because I told you guys I'm on episode eight, but I was on episode nine when I started. So all of a sudden, this thing happens at the end and I'm like, I am just so shook. Like, if you guys saw the last episode, like, it's, it's a cliffhanger, but also I'm like at peace. Freddie, I just finished Outer Banks. Oh my gosh. Now what do I do? I finish Outer Banks. Finley, what do I do? I've been informed that there's a new episode of Gossip Girl on though, so I'll watch that later. I just had to show you guys, I'm filming a little try on swimsuit haul from RL Swim, RL Swim. Super cute swimsuits. This is one of the ones that I just tried on. It's this beautiful brown color halter top. I love this bottom style. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I want every color. BLT night. This looks good. Got some sweet potato fries. Drinking a Cosmo tonight. No, it's just kombucha, but it looks like a Cosmo, right? We're traveling outside to finally see a pretty sunset. It's been raining all day. Finley says, Finley says, yeah. I know, it's beautiful. It's like it never rained today. Cheers. We just watched the sunset together as a fam. It was very cute. And I just changed into it this t-shirt I got from Costco, Stanley Cup Champs. It's so comfy. I just love big t-shirts. Like, sometimes I'm in the mood to wear PJ sets. But in the summer especially, I just want to wear a big t-shirt at night. It's just so comfortable, you know, no pants. I kind of figured out how to get my hair in a claw clip with my extensions in. But it's just harder to like get all my hair back there with the extensions. If anyone has any tips, let me know. I don't even know if this looks good, but I just needed my hair out of my face. It's closet clean out time. This usually happens about once a month when I just get fed up and my closet's too full. I have an insane amount of jeans. I have a, I, I can't even, I can't even. And I clean out my jeans all the time. I just love jeans, so I keep buying them. So I'm gonna try and go with this mentality that while I'm cleaning out my closet right now, if it is not coming to New York, it is not staying in my closet. I am giving it away. If any of these items are not coming to New York, I'm most likely not gonna want them in like four months or whatever when I come back. I hope it's four months, but you know, when I come back for Thanksgiving, if I didn't want that shirt now, I'm definitely not gonna want it later is what I'm thinking. There's obviously an exception, you know, some things are just super summery pieces or things I only wear when I'm at home in Florida, whatever. But I'm gonna try and go with that mindset if any of you guys are about to move, maybe do this too if you're about to go to college, whatever it may be. And I think that'll really help me because there's no point of letting clothes just sit here if they're never gonna be worn. And I'm just, I'm, I, I know my closet's not huge in New York, so we gotta tighten up. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go through everything. I'm gonna put on a new episode of Gossip Girl. <laughs> Love that for me. So I got into my denim and I started cleaning my closet and I will resume, but Sierra, my interior designer, I talked about her in last week's vlog. Her name's Sierra Belongia and she's amazing. She has made this process so easy. She got all of my measurements from my apartment and we did a consultation call. I shared a Pinterest board with her of inspiration I had, talked about what furniture pieces I want, the whole nine yards, and she created a layout for me. And then from there, she just sent me all of her furniture selections and basically gave me options for each, each piece. So like, here's a couple bed frames, here's a couple couches based off what you want. And I am just like salivating. They are all so dope, like, oh my gosh. Here's the inspo for my apartment. Ah. And then this is the layout we're thinking for my bedroom. There's not a ton of room. So we're thinking like literally a bed, two nightstands and a little console. Because all my measurements and then literally when everything's gonna ship. Um, this is like my ideal bed situation, but she also sent this, which I was like, wait, that should be kind of cool. Um, she just sent so many options. Going for a very luxurious spa feel, yet chic at the same time. Just very simple, airy relaxing i just want my apartment to be a very relaxing happy place um and then i'll add pops of color if anything through you know plants or artwork um but we haven't gotten to that part yet right now we're working on furniture and once we get all that ordered we'll start looking at decorations and furnishings as she calls them so but i am like so happy with how everything looks and she knows exactly my vibe and she knows the places to look i've never furniture shopped in my life and I also forgot how expensive furniture is because I've lived in a furnished apartment for the last few years but this just got me really 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 excited looks like everything's gonna be shipping mainly mid-september late september 
So I'm gonna start with nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna have a mattress and a couple of things and we're just gonna have to hope and pray that everything comes in a timely fashion. So I'm gonna go through this, give her some feedback really quick before our call tomorrow. Tomorrow we're gonna go over all of my selections but I'm just gonna give her some feedback, just highlight my favorite things just so she kinda knows where my head's at. And then I'm gonna get back to watching Gossip Girl and cleaning my closet. About to go through all these shirts, just pulled everything out and I'm literally just gonna go through because it all needs to be refolded anyways. We've got pants, skirts, and denim as best as I can. We've got a Finley right here. We've got a Finley right here. We're going through his collars too. No, I'm kidding. All right, looks a lot better. We have t-shirts, colorful, fun tops, and all of my neutrals and all that, so yay. I'm about to head to bed. Just took one of these Highline Wellness CBD melatonin gummies. Go through this that I bought the other day, your guide to a peaceful mind. I'll see you guys in the morning. Wow, tomorrow's already Friday. Good morning, you guys. Happy Friday. We are out with the old and with the new, about to open a brand new planner. If you haven't gotten yours yet, link below. Um, it's great for back to school. Can't believe I filled literally all of this. That's so crazy. I'm about to start this one. And each one comes with a black felt tip pen for you to trace. So I'm excited to use that. All right, you guys. It is hot girl walk time featuring my mom and Finley. Um, my mom is a hot girl. Already had breakfast. We had some eggs and toast, if you guys are wondering. All right, you guys. Here we go, cheers to Friday and hot girl walks and starting the day off right. Shout out to all of you who constantly tag me in your Instagram stories taking the ginger shots. The face, you just can't not make the face, like it's bitter, but it feels so good. It burns so good. All right, we're gonna go for our hot girl walk. Finley, hot boy walk. Hot boy walk, Finley's gonna come. Yeah. He doesn't even know, but I'm not gonna bring you guys, I'm sorry, but you can just trust that we're gonna be on a walk. And, <laughs> oh, it's a hot one out there, folks. Gonna do a little body shower and then make some coffee and get ready to record with Brooke for Gals on the Go. We're recording next week's episode a little early. I really wanna lay out today, so I don't wanna wash my hair yet because I'm gonna sweat. So, <laughs> that rhymes. So after the pool, I'm gonna come in and wash my hair, but let's go shower because I'm gross. I literally wanna go straight to the pool after we're done podcasting, so part of me is just like, should I podcast in my swimsuit, you know? I think this is the look. This is all from Oral Swim, minus the hat. Can't wait for Brooke to FaceTime me, and I have this whole get up on. Oh, a green moment. A little green outfit day. Just finished recording, we're all set up. It's nice and sunny. I brought Finley out here with me. I had to hide the chips and salsa, though because he was getting after it. I think I'm gonna start by getting in the pool. I'm gonna get my hair wet, honestly, whatever. It's not great to do with extensions because it can get tangled, but it's my last few weeks in Florida. Me in college, it's my last this. Mom just brought me a fresh LaCroix. We love that, Finley's over there. She's joining me at the pool. I haven't done this in like weeks yet. It's been in my backyard. The weather's just been weird and I just haven't been doing stuff like this and I'm happy for myself. <laughs> Got my hair wet. Living her best life. Obviously higher off of the ground than the facade that is, oh. right? I would probably go with the flora. And if you wanted to do the facade, I would do the article Whew, that was a long meeting, about an hour and a half. We got so much done. I'm still torn between what bed I want, and then what bed I want dictates which nightstands I would pick, because I like them both equally, and she said one would go better with the other. My battery's about to die. Um, I'm about to get ready for dinner. We're doing a going away dinner for Freddy at Maggiano's. I'm gonna go get ready. All right, you guys, I'm wearing this dress. I freaking love it. It's from Beginning Boutique. You can see my tan line from earlier. Success. I went for straight hair tonight. I finally washed my hair. Um, and I just blew it out straight. Dress, beginning boutique, I love it. I love a little midi dress moment. It's the perfect summer nighttime dress. 
And then I'm wearing these heels. I, I don't know if wedges are in anymore, but they're the only ones that went with this dress. And they're from Revolve. And I really like them and they're really comfy. So like I was saying, we're going to Maggiano's. It's an Italian restaurant for Freddie's kind of going away dinner. He's leaving on Monday morning now, but we're doing the like dinner tonight because he wants to maybe see his friends tomorrow and just be home with Finley and all that. So yeah, I'm gonna end it here because I'm just gonna eat pasta and then come home and end the vlog. So love you guys so much. Thanks so much for joining me along. This has been a great week and I'm excited to take you guys along next week. <laughs> Bye guys.